Okay, so 5.6, writing equations in the form, yeah, like we just talked about, y is equal to mx plus b. It says write the equation of each line. So slope of 4, y-intercept of negative 6, and we let you guys do that because we did a few of those. Passing through the origin, so that's just 0, 0, right? Um, yeah, with an intercept of negative 9 and perpendicular to this equation. All right, so y-intercept negative 9, so I'm, I'm going to help you with this one. So I know it's gotta be y is equal to, and I know it's gonna be, you know, mx plus b, so something x plus something, or minus something in this case. So it says y intercept of negative nine. I know this must be negative nine. It has to be subtracting nine, because that is the y intercept. That's what the, the thing on the end is. But I don't know what this number is yet, <laughs> what, the inf what the m value is. But I do know it says it's perpendicular to this. So remember that um, for something to be perpendicular, the slope of this one multiplied by the slope of whatever I put into here has to be equal to negative one. That's what that's what we said perpendicular meant. So what could I put in there that would be equal to negative one? Well, all I gotta do is flip these two, the two and the three. So if I write this as three over two, and then just make sure I have the opposite sign of whatever that is. So this is already a negative, so this will just be positive. Now if I, just to check this, if I wanna make sure, negative two over three times three over two, well that two times three is six, negative six, over um, three times two is six, so six over six, that's one, so negative one, so we're good. So this is my formula. Um, three over two. All right, so go ahead and do D. It's similar. Um, yeah, I won't give away too much. Uh, with the same, and same thing for E. I think you guys can figure that one out. I'll also let you guys um, just do these questions. And just know what it says, each of the lines on the grid passes through points with integer coordinates. So again, all you're looking for there is point is places where the line lines up right on the grid. So with integer coordinate, so that's what you're gonna use. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do for these is figure out your slope using you know rise over run. And then your you know your y intercept, and then we're gonna be able to put this into y is equal to mx plus b. You know your y x or y intercept, you'll know your slope after you figure it out. <laughs> And then that's it. Okay, so for three, um, this one's a little bit different. It says state the equation of the following lines. The sketch may be useful through the point negative five, three and parallel to the y-axis. So this is kind of a little bit strange compared to what we've been doing. This one is straight up and down. It's actually a special, a special case where we had a line that's gonna be, so if this was our grid, that's our line going parallel. That should be parallel to the y-axis. Um, what this is going to be is it says it passes through the point negative 5, 3. So negative 5 and then 3. So it passes through like that point, let's say. And it's parallel. It's up and down. Um, the x component of this thing is negative 5. What you would say for this one is just simply that x is equal to negative 5. You can see that x, is, x value is negative five all the way along and it just goes up and down to infinity all the way there. So instead, you, usually we write y is equal to like whatever, mx plus b. This is a special case where we say x is equal to negative five instead. So yeah, don't get too hung up on that. It's just x is up and down. But now the, the, the other way that we can look at this so um, it says it passes through the point, still, still uh, negative 5, 3, but this time it's going to be parallel to the x-axis, so it's going to go this way. <laughs> um, that's going to be when y is equal to 3. So that that is just really the formula, y is equal to 3. And if you put that in your calculator, it would show you the same thing. You can see that I've, done, I've just done it here, so y is equal to 3. It just gives me a straight line going across the top. Just saying it's three all the time. So 
So I'm going to let you do this top one here too um, and just kind of sketch it and see what you get for M and B. Um, that's all I'm going to say for this one. I'll let you guys do the rest of them there.